I will look after my sheep, says the Lord, and I will appoint a shepherd to pasture them, and I, the Lord, will be their God. Today is the memorial of St. Bonaventure, Bishop and Doctor of our Church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brethren, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to Assyria, my rod in anger, my staff in wrath. Against an impious nation I send me, and against a people under my wrath I water him, to seize plunder, carry off loot, and tread them down like mud of the streets. But this is not what he intends, nor does he have this in mind. Forever it is then in his heart to destroy and to make an end of nations, not of few. For he says, By my own power I have done it, and by my wisdom, for I am true. I have moved the boundaries of people, their traitors I have pillaged. And like a giant, I have put down the throne. My hand has seized, like a nest, the riches of nations. As one king said, left alone, so I took in all the earth. No one fluttered a wing, opened a mouth, or church. Will the axe boast against him who use it? Will the saw exalt itself above him who wields it? As if a rod could sway him who lifts it, or a staff him who is not good. Therefore, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, will send among his fat ones leanness, and instead of his glory, there will be kindling, a kindling of fire. The word of the Lord. Our response The Lord will not abandon his people. The Lord will not abandon his people. Your people, O Lord, they trample down, your inheritance they afflict. Widow and stranger they slay, the fatherless they murder. And they say, The Lord does not see. The God of Jacob perceives not. Understand you senseless ones among the people. And you fools, when will you be wise? The Lord 
Shall he who shake the ear not hear, or he who form the eye not see? Shall he who instructs nations not chastise? He teaches men knowledge? For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance, but judgment shall again be with justice, and all the other heart shall fall. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. All of us has the desire to know and see God in our own lives. And I think our gospel today, Jesus just simply reminds us that it is very easy for us to see the things that the Lord has given to all of us. That is why the Father just simply sent His only begotten Son, visible for us, live among us, flesh of our own flesh, and that is, I think, the greatest revelation that God has given to us. And with all the teachings that Jesus has taught to many people, in our gospel today, he would just simply, those who are meek and humble of heart, those who are lowly, to those who do not even know about the intellectual or the legal treatises of his times, he referred us to the little ones. They are the simply the ones who will always know the kingdom of God. And also for us who search for happiness and longing in this world, I think there is no other happiness that we could always find except for us knowing God and facing the Lord Himself. Today, St. Bonaventure, Bishop and Doctor of our Church, has given us a lot of spiritual treatises. He being a bishop cardinal during his time, and also um, a Franciscan, and has given a lot of teachings about spiritual treatises. He once said, since happiness is nothing else but the enjoyment of the supreme good, and the supreme good is above us, no one can enjoy happiness unless he rises above himself. And I think, my dear friends, to rise above ourselves is the only way is to become humble of heart. When we don't centralize everything about us, and we let 
the grace of God dwell in us, we forget about ourselves. We rise above ourselves. We transcend our own human weakness and relentlessly put ourselves in the heart of God. And I think this is the gentle invitation of our Lord today. As He invites Him to come unto Him, we will only understand the truths that He has given us when we open the Scriptures, when we receive in the sacraments, in our prayer, and above all, in our imitation of Jesus in the rest of our lives. There is no other way to find Christ in our own lives when we just simply let go about ourselves and let the grace and the words of God's kingdom transform our lives. Father, we have the mystery of the kingdom to the little ones. Let us pray to our God to show such love for all the small and simple people. We we'll bring all our needs to our Heavenly Father, confident of His love and faith. That the church may give preferential caution the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. That government leaders may listen to the needs and cries of the humblest citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. That children may get to know God by our teachings and examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. That the sick may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who are all those who have died may enjoy the everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For Alicia Hobus, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the names and petitions within our book of prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Silently, we present our petition to the Lord. Lord Jesus, make us wise with your wisdom and help us follow you in the humble way you have shown us. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for the goodness we have this bread we offer you, which is as given the human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for the goodness we have this wine we offer you, for the divine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Amen.
Pray, may the brethren who sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings we set upon this sacred altar, on this feast day of your blessed bonaventure, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For as on this festival of Saint Bonaventure, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his word of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praises without end. We acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and, giving thanks and broke it, gave it, to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and bury our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we always free from sin, and save from all distresses we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Dear friends, we offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, he break me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh good Jesus, hear me. In your knees, I am. Ever pray for me. Amen. We now pray for the intercession of our Holy Mother during this time of pandemic. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence knowing that you truly are a compassionate mother, help of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us in the mantle of your protection and keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your Son. Jesus, Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of your blessed Bonaventure, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Holy Mass has been offered we now go in the peace and love of Christ. Amen.